Hey, what's up guys? Right now it's the middle of March and spring is gonna be here soon and this ice is gonna be melted. So I've gone all winter heating my garage, doing all kinds of projects in there, making videos. And I have two different heat sources for that. I have a big heater, which is kind of loud and noisy and I unplug that when I make my videos. And the heater that I use to maintain the heat is the Big Buddy heater. So we're gonna go inside. I'm gonna show you an upgrade that I'm gonna test out. It's going from the one pound tanks to your gas grill size tank, the 20 pound tank. And I have a hose conversion kit we're gonna try out for the first time. I'll show you how that works. Let's go. Okay, we're in my garage right now. I have the lights turned down a little bit. I'm gonna actually get them a little darker. All right, so let's zoom in here on the Big Buddy heater. This Big Buddy heater has worked really well. I've had it for two winter seasons. I often put it down here so it actually blows the heat into the work area where I'm standing. It makes it really nice and comfortable. So on each end right here, you can put the one pound LP tanks. There's one on that end. There's one on this end. So I've gone through plenty of these this year and they get a little bit pricey. So I'm thinking that a good investment is getting this hose right here. It's made, it shows for the Big Buddy heater. This is model F271803. It's a 12 foot hose, it has a regulator on it. One thing I never get tired of is the starting of this. It's just a really cool looking thing. So I'll show you how you start it up. You have to click it a few times Pilot lights on. Let's go to medium right here. I call that like the disco look. It has that little shimmer going on, which I think is pretty cool. When it's really dark and you turn that on, you can see it even more. But at least right now you can get a little effect of what's going on. And then you can turn the fan on. You can hear it's kind of a quiet little hum, so I often will run that in the background. So this definitely puts out some good heat. Where I, my hand here, just a couple feet away, you can definitely feel the heat. So when it's super cold in the winter time and those January, February winters, this is a great heater to have by your side. But now, all right, we're gonna shut it off. So right now we're gonna see how this hose right here works with a 20 pound tank and test it out for the first time. First thing we do is take the hose from here. So I have the hose out of the package. I'm gonna take the one pound LP tanks out. If you're looking at this direction on this side right here, if you can see this tilts out for the one pound tank, but behind that, there's a little brass part. If you can see that, that's where this quick connect hose hooks up. Okay, you heard it snap in place. That's connected, so you pull that ring down and push it up in there until it clicks. Then check it, make sure it's nice and tight. There we go. We're gonna hook this end right here to the tank. I'm sure they're gonna recommend that you put the tank outside. So I'm gonna open that up. So inside this hose right here is 12 feet, so there's air in there that has to escape first. So if you turn that to pilot, so initially I had a little pilot light going for about probably 10 seconds, but that was just the fuel that was left in the line. So right now I have to run it. I'm gonna, if I put my ear up close to it, I can hear it. And often you can hear a different sound when the gas starts coming through. After you run this for a while, you should let it air out for a bit, probably a good five minutes, just so you don't click it and boom, you know, have a, combustible explosion. Okay, got the pilot light. That's a good sign. Let's try it low. I will dim the lights a little bit so you can see that warming up. There's medium. All right, to the best of my knowledge, this hose will only heat this side. I don't think it supplies fuel to this side right here. 
So I'm gonna just try it anyways. There is no one pound canister in there either. Oh, wow. Will it heat both sides? It could be just the residual fuel that's in there after taking the LP tank out. I didn't realize that it would do both. Somewhere I swear I read the instructions like when I first bought this heater like a year and a half ago or two years ago that this hose conversion kit only did one side. Oh, that's awesome. I guess it would make sense that both sides work because it has that one inlet. That's awesome. So once you have your initial investment, I'm sure this is gonna be the cheaper way to heat this. I'm gonna to have to guess that these are between three and four dollars a piece versus a 20 pound, which you can refill for less than 20 bucks. All right, that's awesome. I may never go back to this again. <laughs> so when I'm running this on high with these two cans on each side, I believe that I can get maybe two to three hours at the most. So I'm often like having to switch these out like every night that I come in. So that's probably between six to eight dollars if I go through two cans. So I want to say if you go and buy this hose for the heater, make sure you read the instructions so that way you're doing it safely. There are some special precautions to take to make sure you don't have any gas leaks. After I reviewed this here, people have asked some questions and a common one is if you can use it indoors or not. I've seen several videos where people have run this with a CO2 detector and it didn't set it off, but it's a good idea to have a little bit of cross ventilation. I do have some air that leaks through my garage door right there. If I put my hand there, I can feel the air coming in and then I can crack another door or window over there just to get some air exchange going on. And the one nice thing this has is a tip feature. So if you're, if you knock it over, you can see how it just shuts it off right away. Great safety feature, doesn't keep running and causing a fire. Now just read the warning label here. It says this heater may be used in recreational enclosures or temporary construction work enclosures with a remote refillable propane cylinder only. Okay, so it says never, big bold letters, underlined, never bring a refillable propane cylinder indoors. A fire explosion can occur causing property damage, serious injury or death. So, all right, I learned a lesson. Put this outside. One thing I want to mention, if you're shopping for the hose that will adapt from your 20 pound tank to this heater, there's several different options that you can look at, but this one right here is the all-in-one. So I'll show you a quick clip from the Mr. Heater YouTube tutorial video explaining that this is one-stop shopping. Mr. Heater Hose F271803 connects to the quick connect at the heater and a bulk tank up to 40 pounds. No fuel filter is needed with this hose. Using soapy water, check for leaks at all fuel filter and hose connections. When I was in the store looking for this, I did happen to find some other ones that were cheaper, but then I noticed it doesn't have the complete filter and regulator. That's another separate part you need to buy, so you might as well buy the all-in-one kit. And then the thing I like, it has that end right there that just quickly screws on to your 20-pound tank. So my goal of this video is to help you understand some of the advantages of upgrading to this hose kit with a big buddy heater. If you have any questions, if I left something out, please put them down below or any suggestions, I'd be open to hearing those. And if you find this video interesting and informative, please give it a thumbs up and help support my channel. That's it friends, thanks for watching. See you next time.